it's Mrs McKenna here from reception. Some of you might remember me from when I taught you years ago and some of you might be getting ready to come into reception next year and I just thought that I would share with you some ideas about maths. So recently in reception we've been looking at halving and I'm sure that you all know that when you take one hole and you halve it, which I'll do now, being really careful not to hurt myself, you take one hole and create two equal pieces. Halving. Easy, you say. Well, what happens when we start to make that bigger, when we start to look at greater quantity? Well, I've now got more than one orange. Here I've got, let's count them carefully together, one, two, three, four, five, six oranges. And I need to halve them equally into two groups. How am I going to do it? Well, if I'm doing it practically with the objects in front of me, and you can do it at home, you can do it with oranges, with coins, with toys, anything that you like, you're going to need to share them equally into two groups. So here goes, one for this group, one for this group. Can you see them? One here, one here, one here, and one here. And I've ended up with two equal groups of oranges. I'm not going to juggle because I can't, but what I've ended up with is a group of three and an equal group of three. So what does that actually mean? It means that we've shared equally into two groups, but as you get older and you start to look at different maths concepts, you'll already know that this is actually dividing. And if you want to divide equally by two, you can use your times tables, you can use practical objects, you can also begin to use another process, which is to take away and subtract. So let's have a look at how that would end up looking on paper or when we write it down. So I've got my whiteboard here, let me see if you can see clearly, and I'm actually going to divide the whiteboard in half because that will create my two groups. And if I take my quantity of six, let's draw them up here. One, two, three, four, five, six oranges, let's say. We're going to actually divide them by jotting. So I'm going to take my first orange and place it into this group and cross it off. I'll take my second orange and cross it off. My third, my fourth, and repeat until you have none left. And we end up when we halve six, we end up with a group of three and a group of three. But you'll see that in effect, what I'm doing is taking the number away from itself. So if I have a group of six and I take away three, I end up with three. Can you see that? So that's another relationship between the two different figures. Or another way to write that down might be to do six divided by two and that's the inverse of the two times table that's commutative law six divided by two equals three so see if you can have a go if you're in the higher key stages you might want to start to scale up those numbers and have a look at different ways that you can record it you could think about doing it as a bar model by drawing a square to represent each of the individual objects or you could have a look at the part whole method. I'll leave it up to you, but enjoy and carry on practicing your numbers and your maths and your different maths processes in everyday life, even while you're learning at home. Take care, we miss you at school and we'll see you soon. Bye.